After many years of going to Mount St. Helens with our sixth grade class as part of our Camp Sispis experience, I've decided to put together a slideshow of the mountain. Here is the most recent year, 2010. We just went uh, last week. And uh, what you see there is a view of the horseshoe-shaped crater. That big bump that you see uh, is actually blocking the lava dome. This is Spirit Lake. Gorgeous. We, we got lucky with the weather uh, when we went. And you can see across the lake uh, where Harry Truman's Lodge would have been. Um, but here's a close-up of the lava dome right behind that big bump. So there's a closer view of it. Now the lava dome is where the uh, magma is coming up, pushing its way to the surface and making the dome get bigger. You go back one year, 2009 and you can see it's kind of hard to tell but maybe you can tell that the lava dome's shape is a little bit different now what you see coming out there is actual steam Mount St. Helens lava is dacite which is a high silica lava which fancy uh, words to say that it's not that orange super hot thousand degree uh, lava that you see from Hawaiian volcanoes which are shield volcanoes this is a composite volcano. So in 2008, we have more pictures. As a composite volcano, the, the lava is thick and, and not as hot, so it's kind of grayish. Now in 2008, uh, we actually went to the Johnston Ridge Observatory. First time that I was gonna get pictures from the other side of that bump. But as you can see, it was very hazy that day. Not cloudy, but hazy. I don't know what this haze was, but it was surely disappointing. Still, if you look through the haze, you can make out the actual lava dome uh, that we get kind of a blocked view of from the Spirit Lakeside and Windy Ridge. Typically, we go to Windy Ridge and Spirit Lake. 2007, as normal. This view is from Windy Ridge, but we were lucky to see snow on the mountain that year. Because of the snow, there was a lot more steam. This dacite magma or as it comes out, it, turn, it changes the word to lava, uh, is about two to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, that's a cool waterfall that uh, we can see from the melting ice. So that, I mean, if water boils at 212 degrees, that's enough heat to turn the water or the ice into steam. And there you see a steam eruption, 2006. Um, there's a view of Spirit Lake with all the logs that are still on there. This was a bad year for us, as you can see. When there's clouds covering the mountain, it's one of our teachers, uh, you can't see anything. Spirit Lake was gorgeous, but this is what we could see of the mountain. So I had to show pictures that year because the sixth graders missed out on seeing the best view that we get. 2005. The lava dome looks pretty different to me. I don't know. What do you think? It looks huge there. Behind that big hump, we see a gigantic lava dome and steam coming out of it. The steam eruption uh, is just the hot rock uh, melting and making the ice turn into steam. 2004 had a lot more ice that year. I mean, we always go towards the end of September, which has now been becoming mid-September. So sometimes we see this, doesn't it look like a white hat on the mountain? Kind of cool where you can see where the snow line is. Even right there on that hump, the snow line, very clear. Spirit Lake, as always, gorgeous. Sometimes the logs are right there. Sometimes they're on the other side of the lake, so they do travel. There you can see some steam because that is hot rock. coming on 2003 looks the same the one part of his part of the mountain that is changing is the lava dome uh, because that's where the magma is pushing its way to the surface now students always ask what happens if it erupts well what's happening now are eruptions but they're mini eruptions because so much of the mountain was blown away 
uh, that there isn't much to cause the steam to be trapped. And when steam is trapped, gases expand, and they're going to form pressure. That pressure has to be released. Well, it's being released now because there's nothing keeping it in. Oh, another beautiful view of the logs on Spirit Lake. That's kind of a, a water level view. Thank you for watching this presentation of Mount St. Helens. Thank you.